Well, good morning, everybody. Today is an exciting day here on the homestead. It's the day that we go to pick up Hope, our New Jersey milk cow. For three and a half years now, we've been living here on this homestead in the Missouri Ozarks. All of our neighbors are cattle raisers. <laughs> they all raise a ton of cows uh, for meat, not for, not for milk. But even so, every morning we wake up to the sound of hearing cows. Uh, they're just all over and we just love hearing them. But it'll be awesome when tomorrow morning we wake up and we can actually hear our own cow. This is an exciting moment for us. Uh, we've really enjoyed watching the cows across the street who watch us every day. And I think that they think we're crazy, all the things that we do here on the homestead. Um, but we're excited to bring Hope home. Uh, I have actually officially run out of milk in the house, so <laughs> it's an exciting time, and I, I know that I don't have to go to the store and pick up milk. Our goats aren't in milk right now, actually. We've had a lot of people ask about that, uh, so we're excited to get fresh milk and enough to do a lot of fun things with. But just like every other day, today has to start with morning chores. We have to get those done before we can do anything else. So let's get started so we can hit the road and go pick up Hope. Here they come. Things are looking good. Good morning, girls. <laughs> you're, gonna have a, you're gonna have a new roommate today. <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> you are. <laughs> you better be nice to her. You better not be annoying. 
I think they'll all get along just fine. All right, chores are done. We're gonna head in the house, wash up a little bit, and then get on the road. We got about a two hour drive to go get help. Let's go. Well, Hope will not get in our trailer. Uh, we tried, we tried to get her in by enticing her with some grain and some treats, but she is not getting in our trailer. I honestly think it's just that our trailer is too small. It's actually a horse trailer, and I think Hope is just too big for it. So luckily, Rebecca has this trailer behind me. She's gonna let us borrow, and we'll just bring it back in a few days. But uh, well, let's try again. Let's try getting her in this one. Well, we made it back from picking Hope up. Uh, thanks again, Rebecca, for loaning us the trailer. We made it home safely. We've got the trailer hooked up to the tractor, and now we're gonna take Hope back to where she's gonna live, hopefully for the rest of her life. So let's go see how she fits in, and most of all, how the goats are gonna like her. Now, before uh, we hooked up the tractor to the trailer, I went back and I separated the goats. I put them in that separate penned off area and shut the gate and locked the gate <laughs> so that she's they're not like right there when we bring her out she has some time to adjust they have a time some time to see her right. um before we you know introduce them so. right we'll probably keep them separated most of the afternoon yeah. until everybody settles in real well yeah all right i don't want to keep her in the trailer any longer it's warm out so let's get her back so she can get some water and get some hay and explore relax. her new surroundings and relax Well, we made it home. She's in. Everybody's doing great. She did uh, She did pretty well in the trailer. She actually loaded right in, as you guys saw. But for now, we just want her to relax and start to learn that this is her new house. Uh, the goats aren't quite sure what they're looking at. They've never seen anything like that. So we're gonna just kinda hang back and see what she does on her own.
it looks like she's settling in well she's kind of exploring around now for those of you who don't know the thing that she's wearing on her face is a fly mask this time of year especially in warm environments like we have flies can be a real problem for for cows and so a, a fly mask will simply keep the flies off of her eyes and things and just bother her less so we're just going to keep that on her until fly season is over uh, she actually doesn't seem to mind wearing the mask at all and i'm sure it's a lot less annoying than having that many flies on you all the time well it's been several hours since hope has been home we let her just kind of chill out back there the goats seem to not care at all about her and it doesn't seem like she cares about the goats either and that's no, good no I, it's yet to be seen i think if they'll actually kind of become friends or if they'll just tolerate each other yeah uh, so far she hasn't really let us get too close with her uh, when we walk toward her she walks away but i'm gonna bring a brush down there this time see if she'll let me get close enough at least so i can start brushing her so she starts uh, seeing that we're the good guys, not the bad guys, and that we'll, we want to be nice. So, we'll see how she likes it. Let's go see how she's doing. What do you think of your new home so far? You think you're gonna like it here? I know you're not sure yet, are you? No. You're not sure yet. But we like having you here. Think you want to live here for a long time? Mm. Would you like that? That feels good down there. Yeah. That feels good. Oh, good. See, we'll be buddies, won't we? definite progress. Rory wants to be brushed. And of course the goats need attention too. Looks like she's finding the hay okay and starting to eat so that's good. Tend to be as big as the cow, even if you try. You know, an animal this size is very intimidating for me. As we've moved up, I've just kind of had to learn to trust just as much as the animal has to learn to trust. I've never had horses, anything like that, so 
This is kind of intimidating for me, but the fact that she's letting me brush her, I don't know. I, I think that it's building trust a little bit both ways. So. Oh. <laughs> Oh, this side too? Okay. I need to make you some fly spray. Try out some recipes. See if any of them work for you, because these flies are terrible. Speaking of fly spray recipes, I really want to try some. And if anybody has any that you know have really worked, you know, I can search online and look at recipes but if you have one that has really worked for you. Now I want something natural and we can't use Skin So Soft from Avon because of uh, the skin sensitivities and allergies that we have in the family, mostly Kevin. So something natural with essential oils and things like that, I would love it. You can either put it in the comment section below or you can email us, that would be great. I think maybe we're making friends here. Are we making friends, Hope? Are you done with me? <laughs> he says bye. Well, it's getting to be evening. It looks like she is settling in well. I'm really so happy with the way everything went today. Even though we had the little hiccup with the trailer, uh, not a big deal. She ended up going in the other trailer just fine. And we got her home and Everything looks like it's just going as planned. We have some big days coming up. We need to milk her for the very first time tomorrow morning. And uh, we're a little bit nervous about that. First time milking a cow. First time using our surge milker. So we're going to have to just take our time and concentrate. And once we get the hang of things, then we'll bring you guys along. Right. But for the first time, we just really need to concentrate and figure out what we're doing and that kind of thing. But we're excited to share those things uh, with you here soon. You know, I think having a cow is really going to make our homestead feel more complete. It's again, one less thing that we need to buy at the store. Actually, several less things because of milk, butter, cheese, you know, cream cheese, sour cream, all of that is just going to be, you know, something that we can make ourselves now. And that's so exciting. That's always been our goal, is to be as self-sufficient as possible. And this is definitely a step in that direction. You guys, thanks for sharing this really special day with us on the homestead. We hope you enjoyed it. If you're not a subscriber yet, right now is the perfect time to hit the subscribe button because we have a lot of stuff coming up in the future that you will not want to miss. As always, the best way that you can support our channel is by sharing our videos with everybody that you know so that other people can see that there is an alternative to living in the rat race so that you can really live a life that is enjoyable and you can make it what you want it to be. So until next time, thank you so much for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless. God bless.